Yeah. We went to a, a cemetery in the middle of the night, grave digging. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And saw them, like, picking out par- parts of a body. And she saw... Whoa. Did you get shit. creeped out? Yeah, absolutely. Did I mean, s- shit that you didn't s- think existed, think, but it does. ghosts and shit? <laughs> no, I'm not afraid of ghosts. You're not afraid of ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> I would be afraid of ghosts if I was at a cemetery digging up bodies. I mean, that's when they come. I wasn't the one digging, though. I know, but <laughs> I you're there. Watching. You get caught. <laughs> Caught it was a it was a crazy scene. attack. It's like middle of the night, totally pitch dark, and we're going in with the digger and his team. What did you investigate at all in organ harvesting? We did, yeah. We Illegal did. organs, like mm-hmm. they do that with prisoners too, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, perhaps. Uh, we the ones we found um, were telling us that they were doing it with immigrants, which is very sad. Immigrants that were trying to come uh, during the journey to make it to the U.S. and so the most desperate and vulnerable people. And we spent time with the cartel in Colombia and then in, in uh, Mexico. And they were saying, yeah, they're going out to even like homeless camps with immigrants in all parts of Mexico. Um, it's very, very hard to prove that, that what they're saying is right. We interviewed a guy called The Wrecker. He calls himself The Wrecker. He will, works for the, for this cartel, the Gulf Cartel in Colombia. And he basically told us the most horrific story. Like he's in charge of basically killing people and gathering all the stuff, the organs and all that with a doctor that comes that they pay. Um, but it's, it, was a, it was one of those interviews that when he left, I was like, oh, I'm not sure how much of this is actually true. And we t- I talk about it on camera and talk about how it's so hard to verify. But then we went to Mexico and actually interviewed a doctor who was basically threatened by the cartel if he didn't do some of these operations. So he, you know had no interest in lying to us and uh, told us how this whole thing worked. And then we interviewed an American that went and got an organ in Mexico. Um, and so this American, did he know that it came from a murdered immigrant? Uh, yeah, I asked him that. And I mean, we don't, there's no way of verifying that it came from, but that it came from the black market. So we don't know where the source is. And he said, basically, you can judge me all you want, but if you were dying or if you're son or daughter was dying and you knew that the only way you could get this organ was on the black market wouldn't you do it oh. and it's a really good question like, yeah I mean right I depends mean, you, on who they're killing right but he he, he could, yes of course if you know a who's bad being guy? Di- if can you I get know a bad guy's dying. liver you know <laughs> you know what I mean if you know that someone's depends evil if it's healthy or not <laughs> yeah right probably not <laughs> Yeah, it's horrible. But again, broken system. 17 Americans die every day waiting for an organ. And the system is broken, so people have to go and look in the black market. And I think I, I do think that if you go, you know, most people don't probably think that this is coming from vulnerable, poor immigrants. They probably but, don't want to know. No. And and there's plenty of people out there that are willing to sell their, their organs, you know, in places like India and even Mexico. Mm. Um the organs that they can live without but do you know when they do like a liver donation like say if you uh needed a liver and you and i were the same blood type they could take half my liver and give it to you and my body would regenerate that liver to full size within six to eight weeks no yeah that's why I love to come to your shows. I'm here doing this reporting, and I had no idea that was the case. Yeah, I have so this wealth of knowledge about this. Livers shit. are fascinating. <laughs> that is so insane. You, I didn't you know. You could that. donate part of your liver, mm-hmm. and I could save you with my liver, and my liver would go back to full size in two months. That isn't, why aren't we all donating half of our livers then? Well, it's not, you know, if by the time your liver's failing, uh-huh. there's a lot going on. Like, you're probably on death's door anyway. Mm-hmm. You probably have a host of problems. It's usually. Other than, you know, obviously genetic issues and cancer and all sorts of other stuff. Like some people just – it's abuse. It's, mm-hmm. you know, you're drinking. You know, I, I know a guy who died of liver failure. Mm-hmm. He died of liver failure from drinking. It's just drinking constantly. And he was on the wait list for a nope. new liver? I don't think he was. Mm-hmm. Just died of liver failure. Mm-hmm. So have they tried that? They've actually given people – Half a liver? Oh, yeah. That's a real thing. They do that. I know that. Yeah. And your body regenerates it. Liver is the only organ in the body that can replace loss or injured tissue. Regenerate. Donor's liver will soon grow back to normal size after surgery. The part that you receive as part of the new liver will also grow to normal size in a few weeks. Mm. So if you take half of my liver and I still have half, I'll have a full one in a few weeks and Mm -hmm. so will you. I had no idea. Yeah. It's incredible. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Liver is a pretty amazing organ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Are you on the Are you on the donor's list? Uh, that's a good question. I think when I signed up for my driver's license, I did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I am too. And even with this body parts episode, just knowing what happens. It does out help. There. I look, a friend of mine has a heart from someone. He had a heart transplant. He, he had a heart right. attack. And yeah. His heart was deteriorating, and they gave him, and he's still alive. Mm-hmm. And he's got a heart of some other person. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. He thinks it's an Asian woman. That's like his yeah. feeling. And I don't know really? why. Yeah. He's, and no. they don't. They haven't told him. I don't think they'll tell you. No. I think if the donor wants the person that gets it to know, they can oh, really? know, right? I, I believe so. Because I've seen stories of people reunite, like mm. a donor. Or, yeah, that's got to be crazy. Right. Like someone's carrying around your heart, your loved one's Your loved one's heart. heart. That, that was the story I saw. Exactly Ooh. that. The daughter had died and the mother wanted to meet the person whose heart. Yeah. Well, that's, went to. that's noble. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a place. I mean, I definitely am encouraged donation. Well, they're going to be able to regenerate tissue independently in labs. Mm-hmm. They've already done that with skin, skin, skin cells, cells where they've uh, recreated bladders and they've recreated different organ parts. Mm-hmm. They're going to be able to do that and just swap you out for a new body. Mm-hmm. Like, Mariana, it's about <laughs> time. Swap you out for a 20-year-old version of yourself. <laughs> that would be great. Your brain and stick it in a 20-year-old body. <laughs> like, wow. Fantastic. Wake up in the morning. Oh, nothing hurts. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Well, that's probably going to happen. It's yeah. probably in our future. Or an AI version of ourselves. That's yeah, that's happening. more likely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's more likely. Yeah. And more likely, it will be integrated with mm-hmm. AI. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah, I think that's that's sure. definitely happening. Yeah, yeah. Have you had people on this show talking about AI? Oh yeah, sure. quite a few. Yeah, yeah, quite a few. It's, it's kind of a constant conversation mm-hmm. because you know I have Sam Altman was on. Oh right, I love Sam. Yes, Altman. he's great. And then I had the uh, the gentleman from Tristan Harris and what was the other guy's name again? Is a Raskin. Yes, uh-huh. from the Social Dilemma, uh-huh. and they came on and they are extremely concerned about AI uh-huh. and the the race to uh-huh. sentient AI uh-huh. and who controls it and what happens when it gets released and uh-huh. and what it does and it seem and it also seems inevitable it seems like it's just going to happen and China is involved in it and Russia is involved uh-huh. in it, the United States is involved in it, and who knows how many other countries are involved in this research as well yeah. and they're getting really close yeah that de- it's uh, how do you fight against progress right that's yeah. I think, the hard thing right Mm. I think it's happening. <laughs> yeah, Whether I we just like think we uh, we are the last biological people. That's what I think. Yeah, I think we're the last. I think mm-hmm. we're going to be integrated while and, we're alive still. Or yeah, in our lifetime. Within our lifetime, I think there's going to be oh, artificial shit. people. Yeah. yeah. 